Welcome back, everybody. Dren Six Weight Plays. I'm playing Barnhold Lot downloadable camp uh, content. Uh, by playing this, whatever I do in here is supposed to transfer somehow over to my main campaign. So I thought, why not? Let's uh, enrich that campaign by playing out something else over here. Uh, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. You really like see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then the notify bell and you'll be notified when I upload things. You'll notice that four of my guys all have little halos on them. These are all Azmir of different uh, blood extracts. And yes, D'Artagnan, Aramis, Athos, and Porthos. Yes, the three musketeers live on, helping Varn and Seppel, or however you pronounce his name. Um, we're going to just creep up. We know there's like huge earth elementals here, and I wanted to see if I could possibly take them on. There he is. Okay. So we're going to cast a bunch of things here. We've got the hearty meal on. I know what to do. He's going to cast a bless. He's going to wait till it gets closer to cast the, pr the prayer. Um, Zeppel has uh, a whole lot of mage armors, so I'm just going to have him mage armor all of us. And then, at the beginning of combat, he's going to do this. This lasts one minute per level. So he's going to cast that one on me. So I'm enlarged. And then we were going to start this off with this guy. Bar has a grease spell, so I was going to throw the grease spell like right there. And then Steffel's going to go ahead and throw a fireball and see if it does anything. And just see if it does anything. So it was a reflex save, okay. So now they should be coming after me. Hopefully there's only two of them. Um, he's going to sing. Because that's what he does. Um, I don't really have a lot to do here. I don't think this affects it. So I'm not going to cast it. Oh, I was going to cast... Oh, is it Shield of Faith on? Varn really can't do much of anything. Oh, he's already got Mage Armor on. Okay. I'm going to step up a few steps just to be closer if it comes down. Orthos was going to be the problem. He wanted to throw an acid bomb on it. He has to move up next to me. Which is not a good thing. They do move pretty fast. Um, he can cast a heroism. He's going to cast that on me. Zeppel is going to throw a snowball. He's got three of them. Uh, that one's going to be the next one to axe. Oh no, I had to move up? No, I didn't want to move up. Um, 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 sir, um. It's not quite within prayer range. So if I move up to here, do I get them in prayer range? I think they're in prayer range. Uh, only one of them. Damn! I thought both of them would be within the range. Uh, Magar. 
this is not going to go well. You're going to move over to this side. I'm going to move... Can I hit him from here? I can hit him from here. Did a little bit of damage. Um... I missed! How can I miss? And back up. Because the other one's coming. Okay, it fell down in the grease. Yay! It gives us time. Um... Um, 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 sir, um, I don't have anything to do. <laughs> I can cast another heroism on, uh, uh, Aramis. Now, you're going to cast another snowball, but on this one. Oh, dear, he can actually hit me from there. Run away. That was, oh, my God. Um, heal. Because, wow. So Magar cannot get there. So I need to have somebody cast an enlarge on Magar. If I go there, I'll be in the grease, won't I? I don't know. Will I be in the grease? Okay, so I beat up one. Uh, Orthos, more acid. That's a direct hit. That's good. Okay, he couldn't stand up this round. Um, do I have another enlarged spell? No, I don't have an enlarged spell for me, do I? Uh, I don't, well, I do have, I can cast that on him. Gives him a few points back. I get a few points back that way. Uh. I don't know, will Magic Missile work on him? I guess Magic Missile will work. Okay. Um, I'm going to heal again. Get him up to full. Magar, you have to step back because when that thing comes down, it's going to be nasty. Uh, I don't, I have to go through the grease. Step to here. And now I'm just going to go back to where I was. <laughs> Alright, more acid. While it's still down. Got it down almost halfway. And it stands up and walks into the grease. Okay. Orthos, you don't have anything. Um, I guess just shoot. Suffle, throw your last snowball at it. And miss. Um, I don't have a lot to do here. I could move up here and beat on it. How many hit points do I have? I have 57. Maybe it won't kill me in one round? This should do it. I missed. Magar. We don't have a potion of enlarged person, do we? He's got an acid flask. Let's take an acid flask. And... Throw an acid flask at it. See if my dex is any good. Good four more. Something. Um, I should be able to move to here and beat on it. And 
and more acid flasks, please. Almost out. It would beat the crap out of me. Um, you should have run. I don't have a lot. Um, he's got to heal. Me. Because I need hit points badly. Magar, you might fall down in the grease. Fight me. Don't hold back. Ah, we got through it. Everybody, get out of the grease. They don't have any treasure. Okay, well, we got out of the grease. We did take them down. And there was something over here that I couldn't get because they were there. Ooh. Heavy shield? Let's go collect all this and let's go see what I just got. I just got a bunch of stuff. What's this? Wand of Cure Moderate Wounds. Now that is something we need to put on our friendly neighborhood cleric. Or our grenadier. <sighs> Not sure how to do that one. I have to think about that. That might get switched. And there was uh, a shield. It's a heavy shield plus two. I've got a heavy shield plus one. So uh, I'm going to put a heavy shield plus two. Pretty color. Doesn't really help my armor class. Doesn't help my speed, so I keep my armor class up by a point. Okay. Um I'm I'm sir um well we picked up a bunch of stuff. Uh there's a little bitty space over here that we haven't gone through. Let's come in here and see if there's anything inside the ruins. Thing in here? Nothing in here. Okay. Well, that was disappointing. Well, should we go see if the people are still at that camp and talk to them on our way out? Okay. 13 minutes. So, yeah, let's... Moving at medium. I'm at light. Oh, that's not going to work. go around up there. Run, 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 run. Shouldn't be any more bad guys. Go up here and see if the people are at the camp and I can still talk to them if necessary. And then we'll get out of here and hopefully it'll take us back home so I can sell all this stuff. This villager. That was the one who talked to me before. We will never be safe so long as they roam these lands. Oh, God. I'll say the same thing. Kill the villagers. Alright, I don't need this. I really don't need this right now. Um, it's yeah, time to act! Got some heals there. No mistakes. <sighs> Alright, it's starting to rain, so we're going to head out to the exit. And we're going to see how much of this stuff we can take. Collect it all, and we are overloaded. No kidding. No kidding, kids. We're overloaded. How about that? So let's put it in price. Uh, padded armor and studded leathers we don't need. Or hides. 
hides are heavy and don't. They're worth three for 25, two for 15. So we don't need hides and we don't need heavy shields. Let's get rid of the, well, heavy shields are five, they're like, I'm gonna go for three. Fifteen pounds for two. Still going to have to drop some more stuff. Still got to drop about two hundred pounds. So. Get rid of the heavy shields, I guess. Well, actually, I can take two of these. Three of these. Alright, other weapons that I really don't want to. Two pounds and no gold. I mean, it's not even worth a gold to carry it. <laughs> not going to take it back. Okay. Some magic items. Yeah. This is the stuff that's weighing me down is the pelts. Of course. All right. Uh, what have I overloaded? How am I overloaded? How am I overloaded? Why are we suddenly overloaded? We weren't overloaded a second ago. Okay, um, just to drop one of these, one of these. I must. I'm trying to figure out why we suddenly went to overloaded, but okay. So we have to leave some more stuff behind. Oh, I took everything again. That's what it was. Looks like. All right, we're gonna leave. We're moving it heavy, but. Strange land, strangest man he does. Let's see where he takes us. Will you take us home, please? Wonderful. Now the centaur barbarians have added themselves to our already too long list of problems. We'd best order long pikes for the infantry and beef up the fortifications. Or we could avoid fighting them and save the money for something more urgent than battling barbarians. I believe we should set up a camp for the night. Oh, why does he go down here? Why didn't he just go home? This is not good, because we're at heavy. So we're going to move slow as hell. All right, we're going to be in an encounter, so... Becoming distracted leads to becoming dismembered. Yeah, this is 
one of those you gotta encounter whatever it is we're gonna encounter. Okay. What is this? Get your phone off me, Carrion. Oh god, there's what are these? Undead Entertainment. What the Stop it. Chaotic evil. Um the zombie. Has a lot of hit points. Twelfth level, so we're talking probably hundreds of hit points. I'm at the bottom here. Um I think we're gonna have you paste us because that seems to be kind of important here. Magar. Victory is near. Um, do I get to do both things? I want to move up right behind Magar, and then I'm going to do the channel against the undead. Did more damage. Can I just take it down? Nope. Can I take it down? Yes. Okay, we got rid of one. That's good. Unfortunately, we did not get rid of this one. Okay, uh, same sequence. Acid bomb. Get it started. Step all. Uh, let's throw a snowball at it. Oh, you actually hit it. Uh, Magar. Press on. I think I can just swing on. A calculated risk. Don't hold back. And then me. You won. Oh, I missed the third time. If I'd have hit it, taking it down. Oh well, it gets to beat on all three of us. Wow. Okay, let's end that. Ah, I don't want to do talky scenes. I want to loot. Damn it. Willis Gunderson, the man you just saved, catches rest miles rightly as if he hadn't been just zigzagging away from his pursuers. His clothing equipment are odd mix of quality, durable items, and pompous decorative elements. Even his shirt seems cut especially to provide an unobstructed view of his chest, which is adorned with two golden chains. Baron Bauer and your grace, what fortunate meeting you here. Did they meet this guy in the main campaign? I met this guy in the main campaign. He sent me to Candlemere. I swear I did. He sent me off to Candlemere and all those terrible will will o -wisps. Now he's bringing zombie cyclopses on another baron. He also stands in such ways to capture the stranger's attention while not blocking your view or supples. Greetings, and you are. Most Gunderson, your great spirit, fired by the attention the peculiar man strikes a proud pose. Scientist, traveler, and researcher of antiquities at your service. Can my bar tell him what he is? Pleasure to see that my barony attracts such a degree of people, and it's most regrettable that they must face such a cult. Where did that creature come from? I have no idea. I was enjoying the view and taking notes when an ill-mannered simpleton stepped into my light. I politely asked him to step aside and allow me to finish, but he wouldn't. Listen, when I turned around, I knew we couldn't have, for zombies have as much reason as manners. Uh, we need a three. As the traveling cars you carefully examine his gear and clothes, first thing that strikes your attention is an intricate yellowish jade bracelet on his wrist. You can tell by his ragged state that Willis has been on the road for at least a few days, and indeed, for all appearances, mostly off-road. Uh, makes it look carved a whole piece of jade of unusual hue. Even from a distance, you can see the patterns that decorate it, obviously signs of the relic's origin. This item came from the ancient Cyclops Empire, but what is it doing here, and how did this hapless traveler acquire it? Hmm. 
Uh, we succeed at intimidate. We might fail at diplomacy. I think we're just going to go with intimidate. God, I don't know what to do. Probably could have gotten more experience from the diplomacy way. This knickknack is my latest find. I found it on the river shore. It would seem the water washed it out of some ancient burial ground. Although it's very ancient, it may have serious scientific value. I haven't dated it precisely yet. It must have changed for some extent time, but I swear it doesn't hurt self guided my hand. This is quite interesting. The Baron, he doesn't yet boast its scientific achievements, but I think I can find a specialist who should be able to determine the race of its origin. This person might be referenced in finding it will be generously rewarded. Here, take this as an advance. Express from spell, hands it to us. Where did you say you found it? By the river, so I'm sticking back by the expiration. Everybody gains his smile when he feels weighted. The person just can't handle it. I'm only happy to help in any way I can, Baron and Farm. Your connections will surely discover the origin of this find. Meanwhile, I may employ my time on something just as useful. Did you know that besides scientific articles, I also write fiction? And I can't pass the opportunity to write about the exploits of the Farnling host and chronicle your first steps as a baron. You wouldn't mind, would you? <laughs> We're going to get a buck. As long as they don't ask me to sit for a portrait. I was born to a noble family, so my childhood was wasted on sitting with my mother and my brothers for a train of grand portraits. I only spared the torture after I, after I covered my waistcoat in tar and let my pretty... Feather beret on fire. So long as you spare me such torments, Willis, I don't mind what you do. You should find some place and settle in Baron Hall and get to work. I will send word when I receive news about the operation. As you wish, as long as you do, when your guns and hurries off in the direction of Baron Hall. So he's the chronicler, whereas Lindsay's the chronicler in the main line. This idiot is the chronicle of the Baron Hall. That went well. Of course, the lad is lying through his teeth, but we got more from him than we might have hoped. Why did you invite the scanners tomorrow? Wait, do you really need even more foolish treasure hunters in this backwater? My mercenary gut. Nine times out of ten, when my gut tells me to keep my eyes peeled, the situation is about to get bad. Of course, there's always the tenth time when my gut is merely predicting a severe hangover. <laughs> but I don't think that's the case this time. Mega fronts tomorrow. Maybe Gunderson just really is just a charming chatterbox. And he ran into the dead cyclops by accident. Maybe his bris this bracelet is a simple piece of jewelry. Something in the story doesn't sit right. I suspect that Gunderson lied about finding it by the river. He'd clearly been wandering for days through dungeons by the look of it. It's just it's an object. Ancient object. It doesn't take special to see that. Can I tell you, Sepho, there's something wrong here. I agree. Perhaps there's find a cyclops treasure around the corner. This does not alter the fact that our leader continues to leap at every shadow and make a fool of himself for random passing strangers. And such as engaging in various politics. I hope that dead cyclops is the only thing that called out wherever the land stole this bracelet. Sorry, we've already solved our problems with this interest, and we've already got a whole new riddle and a personal crime along with it. So you have this paltry rhyme, supple. Take the bracelet, see what you can make of it. And then keep an eye on our new friend. Visit him in Barnhold when you have the time. Maybe you'll manage to buy something else out of him. That's it. Let's move. All right, we're going to go overweighted here. Don't need that. 12 pounds for a well, but it's masterwork. So we're going to be overweighted. Um, but that's worth a hundred, so that's worth more than this heavy shield. And that heavy shield. Drop that. 16 more pounds to sh to sh to drop off. Four pounds for one. Maybe 
to shed two more pounds. Two pounds for one gold. We'll get rid of that one. Okay. Oh, I'm still 0.7 over. You bastard. It's worth 18 gold? A great club's worth 18 gold? It's worth 5 gold. Four for four. Two for three. They're better buy. Three for two. Six for three. Man. I don't know what to get rid of. Because I'll never see this stuff again. We'll get rid of the hand axe. That makes me not overload it anymore. Okay, uh, what the hell? Just took their stuff. Oh, that's right, they have hide armor that I'm not going to take. Uh, wander around here and see if there's anything else. Oh, that's oh. What else is here? Why did you pause? Nightmare Skeleton Soldiers. We've dealt with these guys before. I'm off. Right? Should I fight him? That's my characters. We're still not going to make it to a, a level here. We've got a bless on. For a few more minutes. So, do you have any spells? My plans always come to fruition. We still have a haste left, and we can throw a fireball downrange. Let's throw a fireball at this nightmare skeleton. Test of my abilities. Oh Jesus, he's not healed up. I forgot to heal us up. Uh, space. Heal. Sing. I can't move up. Uh, what do I got for spells? Oh, that's what I want to do. I just don't want to do this. I want to cast this. So now my range will be bigger. Oh, there's critters behind us. Undead behind us. Wonderful. Megar? Oh, you realize that I should have been changing weapons. Because these things are dungeoning. I don't have time to change weapons. Strike! I do have time. So we should all be up at full. Yes. 
This will hurt. Uh, five foot step away and cast my last magic missile on you. It's almost gone. Uh, but I have more important things to. We got to get rid of that one. That takes care of that one. I guess I moved too far. Can I bring him back? You should have run. I'll collect it all, I'll just drop it. Uh, I'm probably overloaded. Yep, price. And their armor is probably not worth a damn. Drop off. Oh, man, it's worth sixty. Those are worth a lot of money. Nope, we're not going to drop that stuff. What do we got to drop? 30 some coins. I'm going to have to drop one of these. 
maybe two of these. Two of these would be 50, which is the same as that. All right. Okay, well, I'll get out of here. Uh, I'm way past the cut point here in this cut scene that I was not expecting. Uh, so I'm going to put a cut in here, and then we'll come right back and finish this off and maybe get back to Barnhold before the whole world crashes down on us. All right, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like to see, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notify button. We'll be notified when I upload videos and or schedule streams. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.